Hello and welcome to this Charisma tutorial on storytelling with Counter Memories. My name's Rihanna, I'm the writing lead at Charisma. And Counter Memories can be a really versatile memory that you can use to count anything in your story. It could be how many times your player has been through an interaction point, or it could even be how many times they've insulted your character. In this video, we're gonna look at how to use them. So we have this interaction point here with the character asking, how do you feel about coming with me to the park? And then a series of player nodes that give a few possible player answers. And we also have this insult intent here because sometimes players just don't answer the question. So currently, if a player insults a character here, the character will respond with, well, that hurts my feelings and the story could progress from here, no problem. But if we add a counter memory, we will allow Charisma to count how many times the player has insulted the character throughout the whole story, which could lead to repercussions or narrative changes. So to create a counter memory, we double click on the graph, we select a memory, click create a memory, and then we choose counter here. Now we give it a name, we're gonna call that insult and we'll use the character name which is currently character one and create memory. And here we have our memory created. So there are a few different options for counter memories. With this box here, you can choose to set to a number, to set to random, increment by or decrement by. And we're going to use increment by for this one and we're going to increment by one. Now we want to place this memory right after this insult player node here. So we delete this connector by selecting it and then pressing backspace and we move this into position and create new connectors by clicking and dragging across and the same over here. And now let's give this a test. So we click this character node here, make sure it's selected, slide out the test chat and click chat from selected node. How do you feel about coming to the park with me? Uh, let's keep it simple. Let's say, I hate you. Well, that hurts my feelings. And if we hide the test chat window there, we can see that it's taken this white route here, shown by these white connectors. And then say you wanted to recall whatever that number has got to. You could do that in the same way as recalling other sorts of memories. So if we add into this character node here, well, that hurts my feelings. You've insulted me. And then we do an angle bracket and then the memory name, which is insult character. There it is. Times. Let's give that a test, see what that looks like. Click from that node again, chat from selected node. How do you feel about coming with me to the park? I hate you. Well, that hurts my feelings. You've insulted me two times. And you could also do the same sort of thing for these complimentary nodes here, either a compliment intent or things like it would be my honor, my pleasure. You could create a compliment counter there to count how many times the player has complimented the character. And then later with these counter memories, you can also use a gate. For example, if that insult counter gets too high, you could block off certain routes or even kick the player out. So, that's an example of how to use a counter memory. Once you've got the hang of counter memories, check out the tutorial on gates so that you can get the most out of all the memories in your stories. For more information on all of the Charisma tools, head to charisma.ai forward slash docs. And for more tips and tricks, subscribe to this channel and connect with other writers over on our Discord server.